Katie Stein found another delicious eatery on the Taste Utah Road Tour. Let's take a look. Taste Utah Road Tour, we are on Fresh Living. I'm coming to you from the Granary District in Salt Lake City. We're on 800 South, 300 West. I'm taking you to Yoko Taco. Flavors of Mexico, ingredient driven, chef driven. We're gonna go jump in the kitchen with Chef Devin and we are gonna enjoy some tacos. And it's not even Tuesday. In the kitchen at Yoko Taco with Chef Devin. Love your food, love everything you're doing. What are you making for us today? Uh, we're gonna make some veg tacos. Oh, their I'm... veg taco is literally, I would say hands down, best veg taco in the state. I would agree. Yes, okay, good, so. So it starts you... with the veg. Beautiful. So we'll take those, we'll season them with our olive oil love that we that. infuse with uh, onions and garlic and chili. Yum. And we'll season it. And the veg changes. Seasonally. Yeah. Yeah, right. Seasonally, pretty much every two days we're gonna have a different veg. Those will go onto the grill. I like to get a lot of char on there, yeah. which I think equates to flavor. I would second that. We'll also add a couple of cherry tomatoes. Okay. Those will go on in a second. Okay, you don't want them to get too hot. So those will get seasoned as well. Love it. Salt on everything. Salt yep. makes Always everything salt. taste better. Always oil. Always a little acid, but that'll come from our salsas. So keep them moving. And something that you're doing here is you're making everything to order. That's yeah. something that's really unique yeah. too. Yeah. To keep things fresh and delicious. And your menu, tacos, burritos, tortas. Uh, tostadas as well. Um, and then the chilaquiles. I just have to give a plug to that because I think it's so unique to have on a menu. Add some chard to the bowl. This is local okay. Swiss chard. Love that. Or rainbow chard. Again. A little of the secret sauce. Always seasoning. Always, yeah. Beautiful. So as you can see, we're getting good color on the mushrooms. Yeah. Cherry tomatoes are getting blistered. Squash is getting colored. Green beans are nice and charred. So that's it's getting like, close. I'm gonna add the chard. Nice, just to get a little bit of wilt on there. Yep. I love that. Put a little heat, and then we'll heat up a couple tortillas. Those will go down for a second. I think also of note, Devin, is, are the beans that you're bringing in. Yeah, we get Rancho Gordo beans. They're company from Napa. So we have Mayacoba beans right here. They're really creamy, oh, great for refried. Beautiful. Um, but we're constantly changing the beans as well. Oh, that's to awesome. To keep things fresh. So we'll grab our bowl. Time to plate. We'll grab our veggies. Veggies go in the bowl. Give it and a little bit of a... Glass veg in there. I love it. And then we'll season it with a little chili powder and oregano. Beautiful. After, so it doesn't burn. Mmm. So fragrant. It's so delicious. Tortillas go down. And then we'll plate. Time to plate. This is my favorite part. I love it. All of these beautiful fresh veggies you can just see have been perfectly kissed by the flame. Fresh salsa, tomatillo, avocado, Yum. chilies. And we'll add our pickled cabbage. Pickled cabbage, pickled and grilled. Nice. So many layers of flavor. Yeah, it's so really gonna, it's gonna reinforce the chard. I love it. And then cotija cheese, it can be vegan if we omit that. Just leave the cotija off if you're a vegan, just mm -hmm. let them know. Cilantro. Cilantro. And oh a my. little lime. I mean, this looks absolutely incredible. I'm telling you, Yoko Taco down in the Granary District, it is a food worth traveling for. Make dining your destination and get in on this action. Thank you, Chef. No problem.